Jesus says, do not judge or you too will be judged. Is Jesus here prohibiting us using our critical faculties? Is he saying that we must never make a distinction between right and wrong, between good and evil? We all know that murder is wrong. And are we wrong when we say to a murderer, what you did is wrong? For example, a judge sits in a court of law. He hears a case that's brought before him. Having heard the case, he then makes a decision and he finds the accused guilty as charged. The judge has made a judgment on that individual. Is this what Jesus is prohibiting, that you're not to pass judgment in such cases? When we say that murder, stealing, theft, child abuse, etc., etc., is wrong, we're not imposing our own moral code upon anybody. We are simply repeating what God has said. God is the one who has set the standard for morality. So what is it that Jesus forbids us to do? We have no right to assume the role of God and pass the final judgment upon any individual for any of the sins that they have committed. That's God's business. When we start playing the role of God, we can become merciless and cruel of our treatment of other people, especially, and I would underline this, especially when their sins are not the type of sins you and I would commit. We can be cruel towards others whose sins are different from our sins. And furthermore, when we are judgmental, we speak in a way so often that is degrading, stripping an individual of their dignity and forgetting the fact that they too are created in the image of God and that they are loved by God just as we are loved by God. Not that God approves of the wrong they have done or we have done. By not judging people, as Jesus has told us, when we're not judging people, there's something very positive about all of that. We are, in fact, extending grace to that individual. We need to leave judgment, the final judgment, to God. And rest assured that he who is the creator of all things, the God of all creation, will do what's right.